was a friend of mine. He was a friend of mine. I've noticed a save everyday feminism hashtag during the past couple of days. Uh, for the uninitiated, Everyday Feminism is a far-left uh, magazine, blog, uh, BuzzFeed ripoff. <laughs> uh, it would appear they're having financial issues, and they're asking their fans, well, I mean, begging more like it, to save their butts. So what's going on here? Who is Everyday Feminism? What do they do? What kind of financial troubles are we talking here? Everyday Feminism is a non-satirical, uh, as far as I can tell, internet magazine that focuses on intersectional feminism. Mainly, it seems complaining about imaginary patriarchy, uh, how white people are like the worst ever, how men are also like the worst ever, as well as perceived racism and other, and other buzzy topics. So their content isn't really my thing. But it's funny in a masochistic kind of way. Uh, should I feel happy that they're going to go out of business? I'm honestly not even convinced this is a legitimate fundraiser. Uh, feels like a money grab. Uh, let me explain. When I first seen the video by Melissa Fabello, managing editor of Everyday Feminism on Twitter, uh, which, by the way, was recorded vertically on her phone, yeah, it all seemed rushed. The video itself has a cheap feeling and has no effort put into it. Uh, might as well be Snapchat, or maybe that's the point, because millennials. I figured I'd look into it a bit more. I'm sure the donation page will be full of info, I thought. They want 50 grand. Not really. It's mostly emotional filler, and again, a sense of urgency. Uh, they keep mentioning that they might close as early as May. So what's the money needed for? This super urgent bill that's hanging over their heads like a gay teen. What is it? Uh, no clue. None. I've looked all over their site and found many interesting things, but no info on where the money's going. I figured I'd go back to my Twitter and hit reply on Melissa's, Melissa's video tweet. <laughs> well, I guess not. I'm blocked. Why am I blocked? I've never heard of this person before. Is she using the same block bot as Steve Shives? Uh, you might want to check your Twitter if you're blocked by Steve Shives, by the way. I figured Everyday Feminism has a Twitter of their own, which they do. And I'm not blocked. Great, great. I shot them a tweet. Uh, they haven't responded yet. And I am not very optimistic that they will reply. From what I can tell, the site has run off AdSense as well as online courses, which I might look into later. I found some pretty funny stuff. Uh, let me know if you're interested in the comments. Uh, either way, they charge $97 for access to their online courses, which to try to compare to an actual accredited college or university course, it ain't, obviously. Uh, they also mention that they have over 1,500 alumni. 1,500 multiplied by 97 is a pretty penny, just saying. Other than that, each of the contributors also charge for doing talks or seminars might be a more accurate description a quote from their website and a quote please note that all speakers engagements require that at least the travel expenses be covered as our speakers are located all across the u.s the fees range from two thousand to ten thousand dollars depending on the speaker type of pres presentation and number of presentations requested you know two grand pays for a nice hotel and airfare, not to mention 10000 Uh I imagine some of it goes to the site in one way or another. I would assume so anyway. What is this $50,000 for? Honestly, has someone taken the site hostage or something? I need 50 grand in 30 days. <laughs> what is going on here? That's a hell of a web host bill otherwise. I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'll do a, an update video if any new information is brought up to light. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter. It's at none other, and those O's are zeros, yes. Uh, I'll put a link in the description either way. Uh, but 
also love to hear from you guys uh, my first video. Shoot that shit in the comments. See you later.